Hey there everyone, welcome back to the Everyday Talk where we dive deep into all things tech. I am Rahim and today we have an exciting topic to explore. If you are a seasoned window user like I was and you are contemplating the shift to a MacBook, particularly the 2020 M1 model, you are in the right place. In this video, I will share my journey, the reason behind my shift and my experiences with the new Mac OS environment plus I will discuss how I found alternative applications for making this transition and my work flow smooth so let's get started so starting towards the video why did i decide to embark on this transformation from windows to the macbook pro 2020 m1 model specifically let's dissect it uh, first and foremost let's talk hardware the macbook pro m1 is powered by apple's revolutionary m1 chip it's not an incremental upgrade it's a leap into the future the m1 chip's performance is jaw dropping offering blazing speed and unmatched efficiency everyday tasks are executed with remarkable smoothness and it's a significant upgrade from my previous windows machine this upgrade was a moment of change for the computational capabilities of laptops and all the other portable machines like tablets but guys let me tell you that hardware is just a beginning the software benefits are equally compelling mac os delivers a harmonious mirage of software and hardware providing a stable and secure environment mac os updates tend to be less intuitive than their windows counterparts parts making for a more hassle-free user experience and this is something i have been experiencing from first day i have started using the mac machine or my macbook pro and then finally there are some personal preferences i crave for fresh tech experience the macbook pro's sleek design apple's holistic ecosystem and the opportunity to explore a whole new world of software were irresistibly appealing although the unavailability of additional ports and just two usb-c ports is a little hazard but now when everything is transferring to usb type c this hazard is decreasing with the time for me so with my decision made it was time to finally unbox the macbook pro the first impressions were nothing short of extraordinary apple never disappoints when it comes to unboxing its products the packaging involves elegance setting the stage for for the premium product which is coming from inside the build quality of the macbook pro is top tier and it's it is astonishingly lightweight given its power it feels is like unboxing a piece of art the retina display is a visual marvel although it is no more the best in class with some windows machine offering better displays nowadays still it's boosting impeccable sharpness vivid colors and deep contrasts are jaw-dropping the slim bezels offer a modern and immersive viewing experience and the keyboard well it's a player to type on so diving deep into this transition and talking about learning the mac os ecosystem transition from windows to mac os was a journey of discovery let's explore the key differences and how i adapted one of the fundamental distinction is the finder versus the windows explorer mac os finder is elegantly organized easy to navigate and provides quick access to your files adapting to its layout and files management system took me some times i would not lie about that but now i find it highly intuitive then there is the dock the mac os answers to windows taskbar but with a unique design it got a learning curve i must say and how to organize and remove applications which was just a shift in my workflow these entire things that how we are going to be managing different kind of tasks the little tasks which are part of your day-to-day -day activity so with all that i must say that of course there were challenges adjusting to mac over specific keyboard shortcuts and dealing with file association was part of the learning curve even though i am an ipad user from a long time now however with practice and familiarity these hurdles become second nature now talking about some softwares and apps one of the primary concerns when switching platform is software compatibility so how did I tackle this? I did my due diligence to find Mac OS equivalents to my essential Windows software. Surprisingly, I discovered that most of the software I relied on had suitable alternatives available. The availability of popular apps and tools on the Mac OS platform was a pleasant revelation. Then there's Rosetta 2 obviously. The software that bridges the gap and allows you to run x86 apps on the M1 chip. It worked remarkably well. While there were occasionally, uh, you can say some performance differences but the transition was relatively seamless and i rarely encountered any compatibility issues but my exploration did not end at finding alternatives i delved into the realm of mac os native software and integrated them into my workflow while they might be different from their windows counterparts but often offered a smoother and more integrated experience on the mac os platform i must say that now just concluding the video let's
let's talk about performance and battery life the areas where the m1 chip truly really shines the performance and the battery life the performance of the macbook pro m1 is nothing short of a game changer and then there is the battery life it's nothing less than astonishing i found myself going through an entire work day without needing or reach for the charger or recharge my macbook even with moderate to heavy use it's significant improvement over my previous windows laptop and has greatly enhanced my mobility so in conclusion my shift from windows to the macbook pro 2020 m1 model has been a thrilling journey while it wasn't without its challenges and adjustments the overall experience has been overwhelmingly positive the m1 chip power the mac os ecosystem's cohesiveness and the premium build quality were standout features for this shift hence the learning curve of adapting to mac os was a rewarding experience too i wholeheartedly recommend contemplating this shift especially if you value top-notch performance a stable and secure computing environment and a premium build however it's crucial to access your specific needs and software requirements before taking the sleep so guys if you are considering making the shift or have any questions about the macbook pro 2020 m1 model or any macbook in particular please drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the everyday talk because it never hurts to learn new things about your tech and ring that bell notification to stay updated on all things tech thank you very much for joining this techful journey and staying with us till the end <laughs> although i'm not sure that techful is either a word or not